Hello everyone and welcome to this channel once again. Today we have a question bordering a jet prepare airplane and how to calculate its zero lift drag coefficient and the Hosford efficiency factor here. Now let's read through the question. Consider a jet propelled airplane with the following parameters with the wing area or size equals 50 meters squared and the wingspan B equals 25 meters, weight equals 110 kilonewton. In a series of flight tests at 10,000 meter altitude and the air density rho equals 0 0.4 kilogram per meter cube. The aircraft is trimmed for straight level and accelerated flight for two different velocities V1 230 meter per second and V2 170 meter per second. The thrust required to fly at those velocities is TR1 8.5 kN, TR2 equals 8.5 kN, 5.5 kN respectively. Use all these data to calculate the zero lift coefficient, which is CDO, and the Oswald efficiency factor. Now, first of all, let's pull out all our parameters one by one. We have this area of the wing, which is 50 meters per second, 50 meter cube. We have the span B equals 25 meter. We have the weight given 110 kN. We have the altitude of the flight, which is 10,000 meter. We have the density above the sea level, which is 0 0.41 kilogram meter cube and we have the first velocity of the flow which is given 230 meter per second we have the v2 which is 170 meter per second we have the trust the first trust don't let us forget tr1 because 8.5 kilonewton we have the second thrust of the aircraft, which equals to 5.5 kN. Now that we have all these parameters, first of all, we need to calculate the aspect ratio of the aircraft since it's a jet. Prepare aircraft. So the aspect ratio equals B squared over S. That gives us 25 squared over 50, which is 12.5. So that is the aspect ratio. And from there, we can deduce from the formula of lift. Lift equals of rho S V square CL. Now since the aircraft is undergoing slough, that is straight level on accelerated flight, lift equals to weight. So therefore, the lift here equals weight. So we can deduce that CL1 equals 2 W over rho S V 1 squared using the equation from here we can deduce that this becomes this and the aircraft is flying on the straight level so from there we can input all our parameters one by one so 
our CL1 equals 2 multiplied by 110000 over what's our density 0 0.41 multiplied by the area of the aircraft 50 multiply by the the velocity the force velocity which is 230 square our CL1 equals 0 0.2022 that's our CL1. Then our CD1. Equals 2TR1 over rho S V1 square. So our CD1 equals 2 multiplied by the TR1. 8.5 times 10 is to power 3 over 0 0.41 over the wing area which is 50 over the force velocity 230 square that gives us 0 0.0157 calculated also our CL2, CL2 becomes 2 W over rho SV2 square. If we input all the values there, we have 0 0.31713. Also our CD2 becomes of 2. TR2 over rho SV2 square. If we input all the values by using the calculator, we have 0 0.0186. Now that we have all the four values, we have the CL1, that is the coefficient of lift for the first aircraft. We have the CL2, that is the second coefficient of lift, and we have coefficient of drag for, for the two event. Now, by having all our four values, now we are, we are asked to calculate, firstly, the CDO and the Oswald efficiency. How do we calculate this, this two, these two values using the values we were given? Now, now that we have all this value, we know that using the CDL equation, which is CD1 equals CDO plus CL1 squared over pi E AR. And CD2 equals CDO plus CL2 over pi EAR. We can assume that this equation are simultaneous. Simultaneous equation. Therefore, we can cancel this by subtracting each other. So the equation becomes since this one is equation one, this is equation two. So therefore, it becomes C. Di1 minus Cdi2 equals the difference of the coefficient of lift Cl1 squared minus Cl2 squared over pi EAR. That is called what's efficiency and the aspect ratio. Don't let us forget we have calculated aspect ratio to be 12.5. So now we can deduce that our Oswald factor becomes 1 by AR 
multiplier by CL one square minus CL two square over CD one minus CD two. So therefore, by inputting all the values, so our also factor becomes one over three point one four multiplied by twelve point five multiplied by what's our C L one zero point two zero two nine square minus our C L two. 0 0.3713 squared over what of our CDI, CDI1 0 0.0157 minus our CD2 0 0.0186 from there we can deduce by inputting all this value to a calculator, our Oxford factor becomes 0 0.85, which is Oxford factor. So now that we have gotten the Oxford factor, the nice thing is to you is to substitute the Oxford factor in equation one. Don't let us forget equation one is the one here. So by substituting the Oxford factor in equation one, we can deduce that our CDO equals CD1 minus CLI2 over by E A L. So our CDO becomes what was the CDI one first? Zero point zero one five seven minus or the CL one zero point two two nine square over three point one four multiplied by our also factor calculator zero point eight five. Multiply our aspect ratio, which is 12.5. Our CDU, which is coefficient of drag as zero lift, becomes 0 0.0145. Calculated. Thank you very much for listening.